Hi, this is Mimi from Mimi's Paper Crafting. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be making some stack and whack cards. Have you guys heard of stack and whack? Um, <coughs> excuse me. I have seen a lot of, I have seen some creators, a few, a couple, making stack and whack tags for their journals. And I thought, why not use that to make cards? Like, I think those would make really great cards. So I made some yesterday and I learned a few things from making them yesterday. These are the ones I made yesterday using, where's the rest of that? Um, this six by six paper pad, Craft and Create from Cartabella. So these are the ones I made yesterday and I learned a few things. Okay. Aren't they pretty though? So I learned a few things and I thought I would come on and show you how to make them and tell you what I learned. So first of all, these are the supplies we're using. I'm using, I have one piece and a few scraps now left of this paper. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but we're using the Craft and Create by Cartabella and I'm using Farmhouse Living by Cartabella. There's not much left of that either. I'm using this, hold on. Um, little stamp set from Sunny Studios. It's old, it's from 2018. But I already stamped everything out, colored it. I'm, I've already prepped everything off camera. And then I'm using this stamp set here. I don't know where I got it. But like I said, I already cut and prepped everything. Okay? So everything's ready to go. I'm going to put those away and put these off to the side. I have six. A2 card bases that I'm using this way instead of this way, okay? I have six random mats. They're just scraps because you need something to glue everything on before you put it on the card. I have three of this. I utterly adore you. Aren't these cute? Um, for the cards. Then I have three pieces of paper. These are cut to four and a quarter by five and a half and I cut them bigger than what I want them so I can cut them down to size in case they're uneven. Then I have this Love You Beyond Measure from that other stamp set and then these three pieces. Okay, so stack and whack. I need, I need um, paper clips. So you need paper clips. <laughs> You only need, well, I'm going to use three. I don't know. I don't know if you could do more. It might be a lot. It might be a lot if you would do more than three. And what you do is you paper clip them together. So I'm going to, I think, use, leave the bottom a bigger piece. Make sure they're all going the correct way. All right. They're all bundled up tightly together. And then I'm just going to clip these in three places. Now, when I did them yesterday, I tore them because that's how you do it. You tear it. However, with this thicker paper, it didn't tear straight. Like the bottom pieces were longer than the top pieces and we cannot have that. So I'm actually going to, let's see what fit in my... I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut them for this one. Trust me, they, it was bad when I practiced this, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to cut it right here. Let's get a good line. I'm gonna use the plaid as my line here. Okay, so that's one section of it, all right? And then we're gonna come through here. And I'm just going to cut, well, let's put it so it's even up at the top. And I'm just going to cut right there. So this is, those are our pieces, okay? We'll do one group first and then we'll move on to the next. And then all you do is take your paper clips off. and we start arranging them, all right? So we have bottoms, all right? And then we have those. 
there we go and then you take um, three bases here and we just glue them on all right I'm just gonna push these up out of the way we're gonna start and let me grab my glue sorry start on the bottom to glue it and get it as even as possible okay so that's our first piece down then we take this piece and we'll glue it here like I said normally everything I've seen and also I believe from what I've seen this is like a sewing a quilting thing I don't know I don't quilt well, I do like simple rag quilts. That's all I'll do. Okay, there we go. So you're basically putting it back together like a puzzle. And there you have it. So let's do the next one. As you can see, so they had other paper in here and I originally had chicken paper, but I have this cow. And I was like, oh, I kind of want to use this cow. I don't have chicken stamps or chicken dyes. Okay. All right up at the bottom again start at the bottom that's how I feel is the best way to do it is starting at the bottom lining it up as best as you can like I said I made it oversized so I could trim it out to the size I want my usual mats are four by five and a quarter for my cards so I made it a quarter of an inch bigger just so I could um, trim them to the size I need. Okay, there we go. So that's the next one. And the last one for this set, and then we will trim them and get the sentiment on and on the card base. So far, I don't usually craft. Today's a Wednesday. Oh, and sorry if you hear that. That is my washer. I don't usually craft on a Wednesday, a Thursday. Today's Thursday because the dog just will bark the entire time, but no one's home. So I figured I don't give a crap if he barks. I'm coming down here and I'm doing some stuff that I want to do because if he barks, I don't care. No one's home. I'm just going to take this and even it up. See that? All right. So I'm just going to even up every one. I also don't particularly care if they're the perfect size. I just want them to be even. If I cared, I would have pulled out a different trimmer. Plain and simple, I would have pulled out a different trimmer. It doesn't bother me. Okay, then I'm going to take all of these, and here they are. They're cute. And we are going to add our sentiment. I 
do it this side or this side. Actually, kind of like it on that side. Put right there. And all I did, I stamped with uh, my Versifying Onyx Black, and then I used colored pencils because I stamped with Versifying. go so cute and very easy at the end of the video I am I just decided as I'm sitting here gluing and thinking because you know my mind wanders <laughs> that I'm going to show you what happened yesterday when I made these that I decided cutting them was the best bet I will show you what I mean by it doesn't tear straight that way you can understand and and cut like I'm telling you just unless your paper you are using is very thin like you decide not to use decorative scrapbooking paper how's this one it's still crooked do you see that do you see that it was still crooked That was weird. Um, if you want to do this and you want to tear, you need to use thinner paper. I will show you at the end how how I discovered that and what it what ended up happening for me. Okay, so we have those are done. Are they not like the most adorable little cards? They're so cute, and I love that. I utterly adore you. Oh, I forgot. I had scraps, so I cut these to put across the bottom. Um, I just want to make sure that I don't put the same... Okay, yes, I do want to put the same. So whatever pattern is biggest on the bottom of the card, I want to add it to the inside. And I usually don't do that, but I want to get rid of the scraps. I don't, there's not much left of this paper pad, so might as well use up some of the scraps. we go so those three cards are done now we'll move on to these and we will do the same thing we're going to make sure they are in the correct orientation we're going to make sure they are very much clipped together and as straight as can be I'm just going to cut it. Once again, I did it again. Okay. Is it I 
Do I have it upside down? Look. I screwed it up. How'd I screw it up? No. It was here. And here. Correct? I don't know. Look at that. How'd I do that? I was not paying attention. Okay, so it's here. Well, that's because this is upside down. You couldn't just tell me that. There we go. There we go. How did I do that? I don't know. It's okay. So it goes this way, right? Yeah. So this one, this one, this one, and then this one, this one, and this one. Okay. How I got two of them upside, well, then maybe I technically only got one upside down and the other ones were the right side. Is that how that works? I don't know. All right. Last one on this one. child went out last night with his friends. They went to Dave and Buster's. <laughs> and he came home and he brought what he won at Dave and Buster's. And he brought back a Teletubby um, stuffed animal. And um, because why, why wouldn't he bring back a Teletubby stuffed animal? And I said, oh, what the heck is this? I said, which one is this? Because he, I mean, oh, he watched Teletubbies when he was little. I mean, he's that age. And um, I was like, what is this? And I forget what I called it. It was not the right name. And then he rattled off all the names of the Teletubbies. I'm like, what? I'm like, I really, really hope that you looked that up. <laughs> And that's how you knew all the names of the Teletubbies. I didn't ask because I didn't want to know. But he went with his little, his little friends. It's so funny because he says to me all the time, I don't have friends. But yet he goes out all the time with people he works with. I'm like, you don't consider them friends? Kids today. Let me tell you. Okay, that's cute. Now we're going to trim them again. Did I trim that one side multiple times? I might have. I might have. 
Do I care? Not really. All right. I think I'm going to put these ones on this side. That is really cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I might give them to my neighbor. So she has some cards if she wants to give out cards to anybody she knows that's crafty. I have so many cards. I, I literally cannot. I should really put them together and um, have my mom take them to, I'm going to put this one in here, have my mom take them to, am I, no. um, the nursing home that my grandparents live in for other residents. That way I can eat these. I used to give them to my mother-in-law when she worked at the nursing home she worked at, but she's retired now, so I can't do that now. these here I think my neighbor would enjoy to have on hand she is big she is a huge um, really into sewing Okay, these are so cute. Let me grab some scraps. Let's see, I need thicker scraps. I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna cut it into three equal parts and I will show you what I mean. Let me put my pen in my glue before I ruin my glue. So you have it in three sections. And what I did was I ripped the bottom. Now you see that? This back piece is longer than this front piece. You see that? Can you tell? Let me auto zoom, auto focus. Can you tell? I can tell. Can you tell? Okay, so that's what happened. And then I did the other one And look, look at that. Look at that back piece compared to the front piece. You see that? That is what I'm talking about, okay? When then, when you go to put them together, they're not going to fit right. Is basically what it comes down to. Because you're mixing and matching. So this one may match perfectly with this one whichever one it was, but it's not going to match perfectly with this bottom one. You see that? All right, 
that's my little tip for you that is why I ended up cutting them now if you have thinner paper it will work um, easily with thinner paper it's the thicker um, scrapbooking paper the decorative paper that you're gonna have a problem with okay I just wanted to show you that so here we go our three cow cards look how cute they are let's put let's put the brown one in the middle our three cow cards okay and our three love you beyond measure cards completely adorable very easy to make and they're just so cute let me know down below have you ever did a stack have you ever done a stack and whack whether paper crafting or quilting I need to know I need to know how it works I should look that up for quilting because I'm now curious to know how that works anyway thank you so much for joining me today I hope you like this video please like subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video have a great rest of your day